When most people think about Japan, they think about the popular cities like Kyoto, Tokyo, and Osaka. But Japan is a vast country filled with many hidden gems that you do not want to miss on your next trip. Now make sure to stay till the end of the video we're going to give you our top secret hidden gems in the last hidden gem. Now let's get into it. Now we begin our journey at the first hidden gem, Nagano. It is northwest of Tokyo. Nagano is a vibrant prefecture located in the heart of Japan surrounded by the majestic Japanese Alps with its beautiful mountain peaks, hot springs, and snow-capped villages in the winter. The area also boasts a rich cultural heritage and is home to many traditional festivals and events. You can explore the ancient temples, shrines, and castles, or take part in the local customs. The food in Nagano is also legendary, with its famous soba noodles and fresh local produce. Walk around and enjoy the variety of places to eat. Now you do not want to miss the Zenkoji Temple when you get to Nagano. The Zenkoji Temple in Nagano, Japan is a place of spiritual pilgrimage for Buddhists all over the world. The temple was first built in the 7th century and has been a place of spiritual guidance for centuries. The temple is famous for its bronze statue of Buddha, which is said to be the oldest in Japan. The statue is believed to bring good luck to those who visit the temple and pray to it. The temple is also home to many important relics such as the wooden statues at the entrance. The atmosphere at the temple is one of tranquility and peace. Visitors can take part in meditation, contemplation, and can also take part in various activities such as traditional dance and music performances. We happen to come across an impressive performance by a snow monkey. Speaking of snow monkeys, another cool spot to check out nearby is the Snow Monkey Park. The park is home to a troop of wild Japanese macaws who live in the nearby forests. These monkeys are famous for their unique behavior of bathing in the hot springs of the park that you can bathe that as well. The park is a great place to visit and observe them in their natural habitat. Our next hidden gem is Matsumoto, a city in the Nagano Prefecture of Japan. The city is also home to one of the most iconic castles in all of Japan. The city also boasts a vibrant nightlife and a range of culinary delights, making it the perfect destination for foodies. Go check out Matsumoto Castle, also known as Crow Castle. The castle was built in the 16th century and is one of the most iconic castles in all of Japan. It is an impressive structure with its five stories, six turrets, and intricate carvings. The castle is a popular tourist attraction and visitors can take part in guided tours of the castle and its grounds. You can also explore the castle's inner chambers and learn about its history and architecture. It also houses a variety of artifacts such as old samurai armor and weapons that are pretty cool to look at. During our time there, we were lucky enough to see an unplanned attraction on our way back to the train station, a frog festival. The Matsumoto Frog Festival is an annual event held by the city of Matsumoto in the Nagano Prefecture of Japan. The festival is one of the most popular festivals in Japan and celebrates the local population of frogs. You can also enjoy traditional Japanese games, live music, and delicious local food. The festival is a great way to experience traditional Japanese culture and learn about the importance of frogs in the local ecology. And our final hidden gem is Takayama. Takayama is a city in the Jifu prefecture of Japan, and it is best known for its traditional architecture found in its old town neighborhood. Takayama is also a popular destination for visitors, and it's a home to a variety of attractions, including traditional temples and shrines, museums, and galleries. It is also home to a variety of traditional festivals and events, such as the Takayama Festival and the Sanmachi Festival. The city is also known for its delicious cuisine and it is home to a variety of restaurants and cafes. The Old Town is a great place to explore the traditional architecture of the city. 
Visitors can explore the narrow streets and alleyways lined with the traditional buildings and shops. You can get yourself some memorable souvenirs here. The town also has a variety of restaurants, cafes, where visitors can enjoy a variety of traditional Japanese dishes, as well as a range of international cuisines. Don't forget to try some gold leaf ice cream while you're here. We really enjoy trying all the foods, but the sake is where it's at. In the old town, you can partake in some sake tasting. You can put in your 100 yen coin into a gumball machine and get your very own sake cup for tastings. Then head over to the machines where you put in another coin and pick out the flavor to try. You can buy a bottle of your favorite flavor to take home with you. Next, we're gonna head over to the Hida Folk Village. The Hida Folk Village in Takayama is an open air museum. The museum is home to a variety of historical buildings, artifacts, and crafts, which provide visitors with an insight into the traditional culture of the region. It has a variety of exhibits and activities such as traditional arts and crafts demonstrations, traditional music performances, and traditional dance performances. We even tried to perform ourselves on stilts like the snow monkeys at the temple in Nagano, but we sucked. <laughs> Props to him, it's not easy at all. The place almost feels like you've been sucked back in time. The moss on the roofs, all the detailed statues, the walking trails, it all has a calmness to it that really sticks with you. While in Takayama, take a bus to the Shinhotaka Ropeway. The Ropeway is a cable car system that takes visitors up to the summit of Mount Shinhotaka. From the summit, visitors can enjoy stunning views of the Japanese Alps and the surrounding countryside. Take in the breathtaking views as you ascend to the top of the mountain. At the summit, visitors can explore various walking trails. Make sure to take a deep breath of fresh air while you're at the top. Now these are all popular spots that are easy to find. We got a couple of hidden gems for you guys, but before we share that with you, if you could please like and subscribe if you're enjoying our content, it means a lot to us and it's gonna help us grow. Now a place you're gonna wanna stay at when you're in Takayama if possible, is the Takayama One Hotel. It was one of our favorite hotels in all of Japan for a few reasons. It was well located as well as very clean. You need to take off your shoes and put them in a locker before you're allowed to enter the hotel. The rooms were traditional and unique, but one of the coolest features is that on the top floor, there were public and private onsens. Onsens are actually traditionally hot springs, but they recreated their own on the top floor here. Sitting in this hot tub while taking in all the sights was so relaxing. But the best part about this hotel was that it was very affordable. We paid under $150 for three nights here. That's a steal. Now Japan is known for sushi, so you're gonna wanna try some while you're here. We found a little secret spot we're gonna share with everyone. It's actually about a five minute walk from the hotel. This is the most traditional sushi restaurant in the area and it's tucked away from the busiest part of Takayama. The Naniwa Sushi Restaurant is what you wanna search for on Google Maps. You'll see all the great reviews like we did and want to go check it out. You go into a little alley at night and it's all dark, but you'll see a light in the distance as you approach it. You walk in and instantly feel warm with this family owned sushi restaurant. The sushi was so fresh and amazing, but what really stood out to us was the atmosphere. They did not speak English, but they still welcomed us warmly. There was also a sumo tournament playing on the TV. It was such an awesome hidden gem that we came across while exploring the city and one that you need to enjoy for yourself. Now these hidden gems are still pretty close to Tokyo, and we got some cool spots you guys can check out. Check out our Tokyo 6 best spots in this next video.